Artists, you have six hours, and your time starts now. Let me get this ready. To take any fine piece of art and turn this into a tattoo is so challenging. You have to really study that artist, get the vibe of the artist, and then put that in that tattoo. And that's what I'll be looking for. I love this style. All right, you gotta get tatted. I'm ready. Do you like Dolly's work? My dad has many Dolly reprints in the house. Oh yeah? I did go to an art high school and I did study fine art. So I do really, really want to show that I know what it is when it comes to art. For anybody that like knows art, I feel like they know about Dolly. The things that I'm most worried about are the cubes. Getting all of these points to be really sharp and crisp. If one thing is off, I'm screwed. Definitely almost just passed out. <laughs> oh dear. Sleeping. Not from the pain. I'm taking a huge gamble here by not doing this tattoo in the style of the artist that I was given. I'm not hitting the challenge. I'm shitting a kitten here, man. I find tattoos really relaxing. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Artists, there are four hours left. I can't believe one of the artists here is gonna be eliminated. Really? Yeah. This cubism piece is full of solid saturation and line work, and I have to simplify the design so much, I'm really having to pull myself back. I just wanna keep that muscle from twitching. Every time you touch it, it goes zing. I know you're trying. Luckily, there's different line weights in Picasso. Oh, that was a big one. Whoa, sorry. When I was growing up, the teachers told me that I would never make it because I wanted to tattoo instead of going to an art college. You're so talented, it's like annoying. Luckily, my parents were so supportive and despite all of that, they helped me get my first apprenticeship. And on top of everything, I have a Jewish background and it's against their religion to even get tattoos. Sorry, I'm so twitchy. I know. So you're into like weird stuff like that, like you know, yeah. extraterrestrials and stuff? That's cool. Because you know, it's on you forever. I don't know if you noticed that. Mm -hmm. Okay, just making sure. So here's a little fun fact. Although I'm a traditional tattoo artist, I was a fine artist back in my day. Last time I was here, everyone called me a one-trick pony, but this time around, I'm gonna prove that I'm more well-rounded than they think. I used to study in Rome every summer because my uncle is actually a famous painter in Italy. I could paint the out of this. Two hours remaining. Two hours left. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> My canvas is jumping. Like, literally jumping. Hold it for a second. The dot pattern is a pop art tape. If they're not uniform, then it's already a failure. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, sorry. Me with this. This ain't a Saturday party, man. You cannot be dancing like that, or we're not gonna be able to save this astronaut. There is one hour left. The biggest challenge about this design is that I gotta make this thing huge. If I make it tiny, I'm not gonna be able to fit all these little details in there. You are killing it. Yes, you are killing it, girl. What, thank you. You're amazing. Katie's a uh, guy there. So look at him. Look at that guy, he's not having a good time. Sorry, my leg move. What you're doing really good. I cannot believe that I'm trying a new technique with the hopes that it looks like a painting. Oh, yeah. I am a little worried about how much dark, heavy colors are in the tattoo because all of Goya's paintings are pretty dark and heavy. You're doing really good. I'm hoping the risk pays off. Five, four, three, two, one, time's up, no more ink. Woo! Literally up to the very last second. That's so cool. That's one of the best tats I've ever seen in my yes. life. Thanks for sitting so well. Ta-da! Nice, dude. That was like really it? cool. Yeah, man, I love it. It's awesome. You better like it, bro. You're gonna have to keep it now forever. Cool.